start then this morning with uh, the book, if you'll turn to the outline. This is called The Power of Small. The Power of Small was written by Linda Kaplan Thayer and Robin Koval. This is their second book that we've done here at the First Friday Book Synopsis. The first one was called The Power of Nice. These are very successful advertising executives in New York City. They have more than 200 employees and it is one of the fastest growing and most successful women-owned businesses in the United States. Uh, don't faint here, they are also very, very creative people. Uh, I'd like to read you a quick quote uh, from the book that summarizes why they talk about the power of small. What we are arguing is that a lot of small stuff at work and in our personal lives gets overlooked or is brushed aside when it shouldn't be because it really does matter. Taking the time to give a compliment or being attuned to a colleague or a customer's subtle body cues are not inconsequential actions. They tell a story. They are the details that make or break a relationship or crack the case. It is our small behaviors that so often define us and create an imprint of who we are. And so the, the defining factor about this book, if you want to fool somebody you read it, are these things called small change. And small change is at the back of each chapter, they're little tidbits. And I wanted to share some of these with you here at the outset of our presentation. One of these is the idea of becoming a mini-tasker. And they ask the question, do you find the things on your to-do list seem to never get crossed off? They just carry from day to day for weeks at a time. And what they say, instead of making a list of big, difficult to achieve goals at the beginning of a week, create an action list and re-envision those goals into many tasks you can actually accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis. Create a series of smaller steps. Call the broker, check. Write a listing for the house, check. Hire a repair person to fix the broken window, check. Instead of panicking over the big things and you never get them done, break them down into smaller tasks and check them off. Here is to put yourself on instant replay. And they suggest to watch yourself, uh, videotape yourself, watch yourself in a meeting or a presentation. Turn off the sound and see exactly what you look like. It says, are you constantly looking down at your notes when someone else is speaking? If so, you may as well hold up a sign that says, bored, waiting my turn. Uh, very interesting. Thing. You'll never know if you weren't taken. And by the way, you all might deny the behaviors, but the camera doesn't lie. I'm sorry. You know, there's, 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 there's. In, uh, in their firm, they have a rule which is called read twice and send once. And that is very important because one of this firm's greatest clients uh, is the one you see on television with the Aflac duck. Uh, they were the creators of that and it's, it's really their, uh, I guess, uh, claim to fame in terms of their advertising agency. But read twice, send once. And I'll read this to you. As many Blackberry Pearl owners know, instead of a full keyboard, it has two letters assigned to each key. The software uses a program called SmartType to figure out which letter you want. For example, the I and U are on the same key. Well, a year ago, I wrote a long email to our AFLAC client summarizing some of the many commercials we had produced using the AFLAC duck, D-U-C-K. Unfortunately, my Blackberry had something a little naughtier in mind. If I hadn't taken the few extra minutes to proofread my message, we would have sent an X-rated email to one of our most important clients. So you, you always read twice and, uh, and send once. Uh, take baby steps. The idea that you, you'll, if you don't get that, you'll get it short. Uh, the Power of Small is a fascinating book. It's full of stories. Whoever wins this, you'll have a great time reading these things. And uh, remember to uh, think small and not big. I hope you enjoyed that synopsis of The Power of Small.